It's Diddy Kane, I'm back today with another video. Shoot out shout to for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. In today's video, guess what, baby? We are going to do our first local run in smoke. If you don't know what smoke is, smoke is a 2022 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van, 2500 high roof, 170 wheelbase. We're going to do our first local run, and it is going to be... 334 miles is going to take five hours and 13 minutes and we will receive a payment of five hundred thirty dollars and five cent enough money to pay the rent and we found this one on ghost here what we're going to be picking up is one pallet and it has a 55 gallon barrel i think it's like perfume or cologne or something like that baby but we are here at the spot we're about to load us up we're about to get our pockets on swole up let's go That's all we needed, baby. So I'm just making sure I drop to the tippy 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 the top before we leave, baby. Five dollars and eighty three cents. We gotta add the total. Put this run back right here. We are doing well so far. I ain't gonna lie, baby. That wind been blowing wind, but look where we at. <laughs> we, are, we about to get on this bridge, baby. We are getting on this bridge, and you know I, I can't swim. So, I, hey, if y'all don't see this video, then <laughs> it got real. But I didn't tell you guys this. Guess what? We are going to Missouri. You can find me in St. Louis. What I got? But y'all know about that. Comment below and let me know if you know about that. We are going to Missouri. Uh, we're not going to St. Louis though. We're going to Maryland Heights. So if you are in this Missouri area, Maryland Heights, shout out to you, baby. Look at this. Don't this look crazy? I'm talking about that joint looking crazy. It's all dark over here, baby. Ooh, we hopefully ain't no storm, baby. So guess what, guys? We almost ran into a problem. I'm gonna show you right now. Check this out. Uh, you see that right there? It says 86 miles. Look at the gas. Uh, 89 miles. So if I wouldn't have got off right now, baby, I would have made it there. But it was looking, it's looking real ugly. So I'm about to go to this gas station and get this gas and get back to this cash. You know what I'm talking about? I can't take that chance, baby. Let's see how much it's gonna cost to fill this baby up again. As you guys can see, <coughs> their gas is definitely higher than ours. $60.97. Check it out, baby. I had to get this for y'all. I had to get that for y'all. That joint looking right. This is beautiful, ain't it? This joint looking right. I just. Yeah. We are finally here, baby. Somebody behind me. I gotta back this joint in, baby. Somebody got the fork truck. I don't know how this is gonna fit in there, but I don't know how it's gonna happen. We'll figure it out. Let's go. It's not gonna go up this bump here with 450 pounds on it. So I think we need to roll it. Yeah, we can, I, I think we can roll it in. Yeah. yeah. So we are here at the gas station, baby. So we are at $82.22. I'm gonna put $17.78 in this joint, baby. So we're gonna see if we can do it with $100. I ain't gonna lie, when I got close to home, this wind is blowing, blowing. We have about 92 more miles to go. Um, the, the gas light came on, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna keep on getting busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. I wanna get it exactly $100, see if we can do it. Uh, Yeah, baby, let's go. Guess what? It is the next day. We got the clapping, baby, baby. But guess what? We made. It. Mm, 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 mm. We made it. So I know you guys are wondering, 
How was my first run? This is my first time ever doing a drive this long. And it was by myself. I told you guys before that it was 335 miles. The 335 miles was just from my house to the pickup to the drop off. But I did have to come back home. So, altogether, I drove 701 miles. The question is, was it worth? And I actually ended up getting, instead of $530, I got $536 because it took me a few more minutes longer than it was supposed to take. Honestly, was it worth it? No, monetarily it was not worth it. But the experience was absolutely worth it. I learned a lot of things, and we're gonna go over the things that I learned. Number one, I know y'all saw what I did. Guess what I did? Why did I tweak so hard when I went to go pick up that barrel? Look, I got the dolly right there. Tweaking, tweaking. Instead, I wanna roll it off because I was not thinking properly because I'm trying to hurry up and move. And a lot of times when you're doing something new, you kind of panic sometimes if something ain't going right. For, for me at least. Comment below and let me know if you feel the same way. Number two, always, when you talk to them, always, always, always ask. If you have a van, always ask, do they have an overhead door? Because that's the reason why we ran into that problem in the first place. They did tell me that they had docks and they had a forklift and everything to lift everything out. But when I get there, as you guys saw, it was only for semi. Number three, I found out this smoke can travel about 325 miles. That is with the heat on, on a full tank of gas. That's number three. Number four, I found out that, personally, I can at least, at minimum, drive 700 miles alone. I know I can do that. 11 to 12 hours of driving because I went there and shot right back. That's what I found out about that. Another thing that I learned was, guess what? Nighttime driving is way better, but, I would have preferred to leave at night and then as you drive it, it turns into day. So I want to leave like at around two or three in the morning. Two or three in the morning, so by the time you're getting busy on the road, you ain't got to worry about everything. Everything is light and you're going to be able to stay awake longer. You're not going to get as tired. Now, this whole experience was so great for me because I actually get to try the different things that I want to try. I need to know what I'm really capable of and I need to know what I really want to do. That's why we're doing a gig app right now. As you guys know, I have told some of you in the comment section that we are only in phase one for the Sprinter van. We're only in phase one. We're not in phase two, three. We're only in phase one, and that is us doing the apps. Now, as far as over the road goes, to be completely honest with you guys, over the road is not for me. It's not. I already know that. It's not for me. I can tell you right now. I'm going to keep it G real with you guys. Over the road is not for me. 700 miles was cool. I think my sweet spot may be around 300, 350 miles round trip. That's me coming all the way back home. That's staying local, that's perfect for me. I ain't gonna have no issue, I can, uh, get busy like that. So I would rather do that. Now, I would do over the road, only if I wanted to get to a destination. For instance, I know you guys remember, if you're new to the channel, you don't remember, but you can go back and watch the video. But I went to North Carolina to see my cousin. Now, if I had an order that's going down to North Carolina, and I go down there and chill with them for a little while, I would do that. Drive down there, chill out there for a little while, and then try to get one coming back. Also, it's going to bring me right into this section. I drove a lot of dead miles, a lot of dead miles. If you don't know what a dead miles is, that means pretty much miles that you're not getting paid for. So, I drove 335 miles and I got paid for that, but I drove 335 miles back and I did not get paid for that. So, all in all, that's why it was not a good order. But I did, uh, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with the order. I, I know some people, well, you took, but look, I'm learning this is my first time ever doing this. So, we got to learn and earn, and if you hate, guess what? It ain't your concern. It ain't your concern, baby. Don't worry about what I do. You just do what you do. Now we're gonna get, so I told you guys already that we are only in phase one. Everybody was saying, get on that board, get on this low board, get on that one low board, get on, uh, what is it called, select this low board, get on one, two, three low board. I understand those are some great low boards, but guess what? What people don't tell you or what you don't know is, you have to pay a lot of money for those low boards, sometimes between 400 to 500 600 dollars a month for that low board also not to mention with a lot of those low boards guess what you must have a dot and guess what we don't got a dot we don't got a dot baby and it's gonna lead me to this we are still using regular insurance that's what a lot of people don't know so a lot of people may say that this order was absolutely terrible you should never do that you should get on that low board but i'm not paying 500 some dollars a month to be on that low board and i'm not paying between 500 and two thousand dollars a month for insurance i'm only paying like 95 dollars so you know i'm only paying 95 dollars for that that leads me to this stop trying to do what everybody else is doing you're not everybody else i, I, I had to find out over the road is not for me hey for those of you who doing trucking you're doing over the road and all that stuff 
Hey, you, you, hey, hey, you cold, you cold, you cold. So you have to be built for this type of stuff. It's not for everybody. I had to learn that. But I want to say this. You guys need to run your own race. Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Stay in your own lane and you just go straight. Stop looking over here, looking over here. Everybody want to worry about what everybody else is doing. But guess what? While you're worrying about what everybody else is doing, you're losing time on working on yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. And lock in tomorrow because we get back to the bag. While we get back to the bag, the 2023 is big bag season. We're going to keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We go, we go, we floor. You already know it. It's DDK. And I'm on my way.